My name is Lena Mian, L-A-N-A, Lena Mian, M-E-Y-O-N. Um, and that's my life, art is my life. Uh, how did you get interested in the degree or the study? I've been an life? artist my whole entire life. Um, I went to fashion school, I'm a fashion designer as well when I feel like creating, when I feel like sewing. Um, but I'm a huge historian. So I go through points where I want to create, I want to write, I want to research but nothing is ever together, because I like to do all three. So what other field is there but the art world, where I can research and study and combine the arts and combine the community and feed all my gifts and talents at one time. So it's perfect. I was born here in New Orleans. Um, I did live in other states. I lived a lot of my life in California, uh, some of my life in Atlanta, but I would say I've been here the most. So this is home. Um, New Orleans just has a way of not dying when, you are, when you're from here or even when you come here. So um, I felt, okay, I've been all these places. I have this education. What do I want to do? I would like to do whatever I can to forge this city. So I'm back here. Um, I met Brandon sometime in May, and uh, he heard about what I do. I see what he does. and. You know, he was like, do you want to be a part of this? And I was like, sure, why not? So we've been working ever since. Okay. And tell me some of the things that you do here that actually help get everything off the ground. Well, it's been a long time in planning. Well, from coming up with the concept, helping Brandon uh, orchestrate ideas, meetings, um, proposals, uh, everything that involves it. Um, Leading up to the day of, or leading up to the exhibition, you know, of course, it was a lot more work on my part um, because actually running the exhibit, um, making sure we have enough volunteers, um, and crowd control, you know, everything that we need to make the exhibit successful. Um, looking in the future, planning for the future. It's just, it's been meetings, it's been everything, but it's been amazing. Tell me how you feel when you see the Okay, I wanted to cry. I'll tell you, I'm a big baby. Last weekend, I think I teared up three times because I didn't, I couldn't believe that it was this vision that what we talked about, what we had meetings about. Uh, Brandon's vision, it, you know, it's here. I mean, I knew it because that's why I worked so hard and diligently at whatever we needed to do to get it done. But to see it is just something completely different, and I was just so excited and. You know, it was just unbelievable, and I just thank God for everything that he's blessed us with. When I have time to do something outside of the arts, um, I like to spend time with my family. So I like to chill real hard with my family. I'm really close to them. I don't get to see them that often because um, I'm at a point in my life to where uh, my purpose is taking over my life, but it won't be like that for long. So um, when I chill, I like to be with my nieces and nephews, my aunts, my cousins. I'm mean, just spend quality time with the family. Other than that, it's something dealing with creating, you know, all the time. Uh, do you have any social media sites that you yes. want people to follow you on? Yes, if you want to follow me, I'm not that interesting unless you want to see art and you want to see family. Um, but I'm at Lena Mion, L A N A M E Y O N, on everything Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. So nothing creative, <laughs> just at Lena Mion. Thank you all. You guys have made it amazing. You guys have made it amazing. I mean, we worked, but your your reaction to this means everything to us, so thank you.